me in your order, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation following. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 I hope everybody had a nice Easter. Can we have roll call, please? Allen? Here. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Ms. Stravich? Here. Rindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Warren? Here. Good to see everybody here. Motion to approve the minutes of the City Council meeting of March 19th would be in order. Make a motion. Support. Support. Well, that was pretty good. Mm. <laughs> right together. You guys practice that? <laughs> Teamwork. Any discussion on the motion? Or the minutes. Being that, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Move on to audience comments on any non agenda items. If anybody's got a comment that they'd like to make, we ask that you come up to the microphone and state your name and address. I think you, Tom, you're the only one that may not be on the. Uh, on the uh, I'm fine right now. Okay. Farmer's okay. Market. Moving on. Any changes to the agenda, John? No. City Council, any changes? No. If not, a motion to accept the agenda as presented be in order. I'll make the motion. Support. Motion's been made and supported. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion's been made and supported. There's no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to items for consideration. We have five this evening. The first one being consideration of special event request from Pyro Joe's Fireworks. Mr. City Manager. City Council is scheduled to review a request from Pyro Joe's for the use of the demolition derby area of BB Street Park on June 16th, 2018 at approximately 9.30 p.m. to put on a fireworks demonstration. Pyro Joe's has put on similar demonstrations for the last two years uh, this year it's very similar. I think the one change that they've made uh, according to the map is switching the kind of uh, area where they're setting them off from, from the south side of the derby pit over more towards the north side. So then the spectators will be viewing them from the bleachers on the south side of the derby pit. Thank you. Mike or Mary Helen, did you want to make a statement? Yeah, that change, the bleachers are really nice there, the new ones, I thought we'd utilize them. The, the distance is good for safety and all, and we're good on the other side of the property. I'm just not sure, it's a, I think it's 165 is what I got there. Yep. And uh, I'm just not sure, you know, I, I would have preferred to have like 200, would have been real nice, and I'm not sure if the angle, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know how long you wanna have your neck craned up that's the only thing. So going back to I'm going area. to, I, we may switch it around. I'm going to do some stuff over at a friend's house at that distance and really see what it's going to look like at 165. And if I think, you know, it's just not going to be a good viewing distance, we switch it around the way that we've had it in the last two years. I don't care for that, you know, the berm on the, I don't know, whatever side, that'd side. be the east side. Mm -hmm. There's a, the berm and, and there's a lot of stuff that's a lot lower that that always kind of blocks out. So I was just trying to turn it. They'd have great viewing from the bleachers, um, but you know, it's it's a little closer it's than no I wanted. Like that. I think the other way, we're like at 200, and I think on the one far corner, it might even be like 240 or so, 250 all the way to the, the one corner, um, and it works out pretty well. But um, I was just looking at something a little bit different. Viewing would be a lot, a lot clearer because you would see it right from the ground level all the way up. Other than that, it's the same format as we've done. <coughs> okay. Anybody? Any questions? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve Pyro Joe's request to use a portion of the Fessel grounds in BB Street Park on Saturday, June 16th, from 12 p.m. till Sunday, June 17th at 2 p.m. for fireworks display on Saturday, June 16th at 9.30 p.m. Support. 
Motion's been made and supported. Any discussion? So once you figure out what you're going to do, get a hold of John, just so we know exactly where you're shooting from and I mean, fire department know. knows where we're shooting from. <laughs> they are nice bleachers. Yeah. Okay. Any other audience comments? Back to the table. I just would like to say one thing, just to thank the Troutmans for doing this. Um, I, I, it's a fabulous way to promote your business and a fun event for the family and the community to come together and get a preview. It like kind of starts off the summer, like school just ends, and so I just want to thank you for doing this. Any other discussion? All in favor of the motion, <laughs> signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Thank you. Thank you. Item number two is consideration of Macomb County Hazmat and Technical Agreement. Mr. City Manager. City Council is scheduled to consider entering into interlocal agreements with Macomb County and spo sponsoring agencies for the purpose of a hazmat team and technical rescue team and interlocal agreements associated with those. Um, the county and there are several departments that have specialized training and personnel and equipment. Uh, one team is a hazmat response team and another team is a, a technical rescue team. Uh, similar to the Mavis agreement that we've signed with both Macomb and St. Clair County, uh, these two agreements would uh, provide us uh, an easier uh, setup and phone call to make when our department needs them. And so uh, the fire chief has been talking to the Macomb County Chiefs Association as well as personnel from the uh, Macomb County Emergency Management uh, Department. And uh, I think we're one of possibly two departments that haven't signed on yet. Chief? I kind of stumbled across this um, a couple months back, and I just uh, asked a couple questions. And uh, as you all know, lately there's been some activity in the news lately with uh, trench rescue and stuff like that going on. But um, uh, one of the conversations that took place in one of the chief's meetings in Macomb, um, I just politely just asked the question because they referenced a group of individuals. And then, unfortunately, they said there are still some uh, departments that are within our county, our group, our association, that are not in this agreement. So I just asked the question who it was, and if one of, we were one of them. <laughs> and then when I found out that uh, uh, we were not one of them, I wanted to find out exactly what was all involved in becoming one, as well as what if we were not part of it. And um, most of which uh, John alluded to, uh, for the most part, is, is accurate. Um, it's just uh, I was told that uh, when I asked about uh, joining the group or the team, um, it's not a problem uh, other than getting the approval from the council. It's, it's if something unfortunate happens within our group and we need to exercise or call in one of these other departments for uh, special techs or operations and things like that, we, get, uh, we wind up getting tagged with a huge bill, $5,000. They would always come to help if we, uh, we ask, but there's a, there's a fee for that. Normal fees would take place depending on what they would send out. That would happen with any any fire department, but there's an additional $5,000 fee that's on this if indeed we do um, ask for one of those departments to come in and help us. So I proceeded in getting the documents um, in an effort to get us part of this group, uh, for both of these groups, actually. Now apparently it's been something that's been in, in place for quite some time, and we may not have we may not have known, because I gotta be honest, I don't go to every Macomb County Chiefs meeting, so it's something that has been out there for quite some time. And I thought that uh, 
it put us at risk. Very good. Questions? Just for clarification, Chief, if we do not participate and we call on it, we could be charged five thousand dollars. Oh, we will be. Okay, that's. They will. They will. They will send help, depending on whatever we need. Um, but then there will be a, an additional fee okay. after that. But if we join, it's we're part of the team. Correct. Great. That's all it is. Now we've we've run into instances, just so you know. Um, to where we've had to call in um, hazmat help from St. Clair County if we have stuff that takes place on I-94. Um, and it's kind of the same thing with them right now, but they're just not as far advanced as this group is just yet, but it's, it's coming. Based on what I found out at the, uh, the most recent St. Clair County's chief's meeting, uh, this one is, this is coming for them as well, eventually. So... Chief, I had uh, asked the city manager, and, and I, I think I got the, the uh, answer I was wanting to hear. We don't lose any control of our scene because no. we're joining this. No. You still are in command. Yeah, our department, depending on wherever it takes place, if it's in our area, we are in command. We're just exercising or asking them to come in and bring yeah. their equipment and whatever resources they yeah. need. They go off of our direction. Yeah, very good. I like that. We used to be a, a part of the similar agreement. Yeah, a few years ago, mm -hmm. it just something happened the last few years that we they reformed or whatever. Anything else? Comments, Tom? No. No. Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion passes. We didn't have a motion. I, we didn't have, did we have we a motion? We did have a. I was just. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know. Got ahead of myself there? Oh, yeah. No, uh, we didn't no. have. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Somebody make a that. motion, please. I'll make a motion to approve the oh, two interlocal <laughs> agreements with the Macomb County and sponsoring <laughs> agencies for the HAZMAT team and technical rescue team and authorize the city manager to sign the agreements. Support. Thank you, ladies. Now. We're just practicing. Yeah, we're just practicing. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, folks. I don't think there'll be a difference in the outcome, but yeah. any conversation on this topic? Yeah. <laughs> All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion passes. Thank you, Chief. Thanks, folks. Have a wonderful evening. You too. Uh, item number three is consideration of recreation board appointments. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider making appointments to the rec board. Uh, currently, two uh, recreation board members are uh, up. Their terms are up, Michelle Aiken and Lenore Warren. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to reappoint Michelle Aiken to the Recreation Board for a two-year term with an expiration date of March 31st, 2020. Support. Motion's been made and supported. Any discussion? Done a nice job mm -hmm. on that board. It's good to see that she's come back. Anything? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We have another position there. I make a motion to reappoint Lenore Warren to the Recreation Board for a two-year term with an expiration date of March 31st, 2020. Support. Motion's been made and supported. Any discussion? Same thing. She's on, been on there for years, worked in the uh, park many years ago, and uh, brings a lot to the table for us. Glad to see she's come back. John, you want to say anything nice about your wife? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you can score some points now, John. Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing at this time. <laughs> Reserve the right to. <laughs> Lenore does a great job on there. <laughs> Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Again, we thank the two of them for coming back onto that board. Item number four is consideration of appointing a council liaison to the recreation board. Mr. City Manager? Council is scheduled to consider the appointment of the ex officio member on the recreation board in accordance with the recreation board bylaws. Mayor Ricks is currently serving uh, as the ex officio. Anybody care to do this? Yeah. <laughs> I would do it again. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Enjoy it. 
All right, well, I'll make a motion to reappoint <laughs> Mayor Ricks as the City Council ex officio member of the Recreation Board, the expiration date, March 31st, 2019. Support. Motion mm -hmm. made and supported. Any discussion? I do appreciate that appointment. I do enjoy going to those meetings and uh, giving our side of things sometimes when necessary. So uh, they will spin their wheels in the wrong direction and it seems like they all work together pretty well. John's always there. Uh, at the meetings also, so um, seems to be working pretty good. Tom, comments at all? <laughs> Back to the table. I'd just like to thank you for your service on the board. You do a great job, been doing it for many years, and I think you had had a lot to that. Thank you, Mike. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number five is consideration of EDC request for a farm market. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider a request from the EDC to utilize the municipal parking lot for the purpose of a farmer's market on Saturdays from 7 to 3 p.m. Uh, from the Saturday after Memorial Day uh, to mid-October. Uh, last year, the farmers that were coming to our farm market on Wednesday mornings, uh, one of them retired and the other one wasn't getting enough uh, people and customers coming, so uh, that stopped after a couple weeks. And there was a lot of calls, um, questions from residents on uh, can we bring a farm market back. Uh, EDC's been kind of taking a look at this in part with their marketing and events committee and what we'd like to do is start to go out and try to uh, call upon local farmers in the area to see if they'd be interested in a Saturday morning farm market. Uh, the biggest issue that we felt with the Wednesday mornings was with the bedroom community. The majority of our residents weren't available to attend and uh, uh, be a customer of, of the farmers that were there. Um, so we're hoping that by doing a Saturday, uh, we might be able to have a better customer base. Um, there's other things that we're still working on, and we'll probably bring those back at a later date uh, to council for council review. Uh, but one of the biggest things we wanted to do when we went and talked to local farmers in the area uh, is kind of have our date set in time, you know. And so by uh, and the municipal parking lots under the jurisdiction of the city council. So uh, we wanted to get the date set that. Council was comfortable with that date and time. Um, we, we felt the farm market would probably start around eight uh, and go to one, but we kind of gave seven to three for people getting in there, getting set up, and then cleaning up and, and uh, leaving. Um, so with that, I'll turn it over to any questions. How about a motion before discussion? I make a motion to approve the utilization of the Northwest Municipal Parking Lot on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. from the Saturday after Memorial Day to mid-October for a proposed farmer's market. Support. It's been made and supported. Discussion. Is this the similar to the one that was brought to TIFA last fall to discuss? Yeah, yeah, and they've been kind of taking it uh, it was a little more difficult than kind of administration last summer kind of met with a couple different people trying to think that we could just get it up and running you know without a lot of help uh, but what we're finding is a little more challenging than originally thought uh, we have brought in some market managers from new baltimore we've interviewed a couple other market managers from the area um, certainly uh, the key goal is uh, to get a couple kind of bookend or anchor stores so to speak uh, for with farmers if you don't have the farmers and the produce no matter uh, what types of businesses you have there you're not going to draw uh, for a farm market and so that's the key in talking with the new baltimore farm market manager we asked you know certainly it would be great to get to their level but we asked them their first year how did they do it and it was literally cold calling local farmers, you know, and finding out if they're available at that time. Um, and so, you know, we have a lot of different things that, you know, down the road we may do, but if we don't have the farmers to start with, it's none of that other will, will happen, so. Mr. Mayor, um, so I, I, EDC is leading this charge more specifically that uh, marketing events committee 
and uh, we we've done a lot of research on it. And and as the city manager has said, it it it's definitely a lot more work than we thought. But it we have the right key people in place on the events committee and in EDC. I really believe to make this happen. And I, I believe that's why Mr. Habel is here today, because he is leading the charge on beating the bushes to find those farmers. So this is a call out to the farmers that we would like to get this going. And please contact Tom Habel, the city manager, um, as we have a great team of people ready to put this together, some supporting vendors who'd like to come alongside them. Um, and eventually it would be, the goal is that this would be launched and be its own entity permanently in Richmond and model after the new Baltimore farmers market as they have an excellent model and um, rules and laws and booklets already established that we're able to piggyback off of their hard work that they have done and establish that here in Richmond. Very good. Um, and I think it's a great thing. I'm glad to see we're finally there and uh, making the uh, the effort to make it something more than what it is. Hopefully it'll work out for us. Uh, the question I have is, um, from time to time, we do have uh, events in there on those Saturdays. How is this motion going to, you know, uh, good old days, certainly, the weekend we use the parking lot. Uh, my uh, Michigan Junk Teaks uh, has it in uh, July, they have the, the bigger uh, sale there, or the antique sale yeah. uh, versus the April sale. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my yeah. head, but it, and certainly we we looked at that. We looked at that with like the evening dates that we were talking about. Also, yeah. uh, Sunday dates. Sunday you have fewer events to work around, but not, I, I think you know the festival uh, certainly Sunday is just as, as bad as Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we're, we're certainly have to deal with those. I know with like. Uh, Kathy's uh, event she had always wanted a farm market to be a part of her event mm -hmm. and we're looking right now obviously if we get a huge response we may grow beyond the area where they originally set up but right mm -hmm. we're looking at having them set up where they used to be which is that area between the banquet hall and the um, attorney's building you know so that wouldn't in interfere with uh, the way uh, Kathy has her event mm -hmm. set up this year where it's utilizing the road and another portion of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Al is on the EDC and he was a part of the discussions for a Saturday morning. Uh, Teresa was one of the people that um, I tried to work with last year and she's very supportive of this. So from a, from a, a banquet hall standpoint, Saturday morning is fine. Uh, usually by, if they're gonna have a Saturday event, it's usually a afternoon you know event um, so uh, we may from time to time have to either not have it a particular weekend but we felt it was for the most part a continuous event on the so Saturday. are you saying then that during good old days it would be utilized for the farmers market from eight to we would have to work with the festival on each individual event we'll take a look and work with that organizer of that event so like on Saturday I know you have uh, the kids parade, parade mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday mm -hmm. and we'll have to determine whether or not we're going to be able to still maintain the farm market that morning when you're doing the kids parade okay 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 all right any other discussion mr. Habel would you like to speak yeah Tom you got to use the you got to use the microphone so they can hear you at home Yes. Yep, everybody does. <laughs> Tom Abel, I reside in Richmond. Uh, farmer's Market, I've done some homework. I've got a hold of Stan Pankowitz, which uh, took part in it from the cider mill out on uh, Lindsay Road. And he's uh, semi-retired and his uh, facility is gonna be open from Tuesday till Saturday now, so that takes him out of the picture. And uh, he gave me a name of a Ben Wiegan which I've struck out on so far, so I'm going to get back with him and see if I can get some more info from him. And a couple other names that he uh, followed up on with people that used to come to the farmer's market. And one of them, I stopped today on Germania Road up by Brown City, which was uh, Shaner, Mrs. Shaner, come here for years. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, they're, they're up in their 70s now, and they, they've retired. But uh, And she'd done the same thing. I gave her my name and number, and she's going to 
get back with me if, if anything comes to her mind and, and farmers in the area that can take part in it. And uh, I got a hold of Mark Verlindy as a, it makes the embroidery, et cetera, et cetera, if he'd be interested in attending that because it's not just the farmer's market. We're trying to get whatever we can to come in mm -hmm. that facility mm -hmm. to take part in it. And he said he'd consider it and follow up on it. And, uh, and I also talked to Jay's silk screening same scenario there too. He's an instrument. But uh, Mrs. Shaner, which was very informative, she says, uh, uh, you should, if you're going to solicit and go out to all the farmers, and our next step is going to be start hitting the uh, farmer's market wherever they be and talk to the farmers themselves if they'd be interested in coming to Richmond. Mm -hmm. But she suggested to me, she says, if, if you're going to talk to them, you should give them a flyer of some sort mm -hmm. with uh, what we're, what we're going to do, what we're going to charge, where it's going to be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that, uh, it's not just going to be a general conversation. I can give them a handout so right. we have direction that they can go in. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's our next step to make right. a decision in that aspect. And mm -hmm. that's about where we're at right now mm -hmm. and what I can gather. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Back to the table. So are we talking about charging for spots? spots? That's down the road, yes. Um, pretty much the farm market that we used to have they govern themselves. Right. But if you grow beyond just a couple farmers, mm -hmm. you need somebody there to make sure that they're not fighting amongst themselves over spots, over that. Mm -hmm. So utilize most farm markets that we've interviewed, utilize the registration fees, that sort of thing, to um, have a part-time person there to kind of check people in at six in the morning on a yeah. Saturday, you know, and, and it'd be, the cost would then go to offset some of those costs yeah. you know and, and so like I said we're not quite there yet we're hoping that through the EDC people and through you know Troy and myself we can get it up and running to the point where we can kind of look at doing that if you know right now it's going to be a city sponsored event um, through the EDC um, but eventually like I said if, if it grows where you have 10 15 20 farmers or you know and you get that core group of farmers and now you allow the people that you know make homemade jams or jellies or you, you, you know, they come in with, uh, you know, knitted items or things like that. Now you need somebody there to kind of, this is your spot, you signed up, you have spot number one, you have spot number two, uh, that sort of thing. So, you, you know, down the road, we will probably be looking at, looking at charging, you know, right now. Like I said, those are some of the details that will need to come back to council. Um, but, uh, you know, if we could get five farmers to start with, that first week's going to be free, <laughs> you know, just to get them there. But, um, yeah. Tom would be perfect for checking them in. I, I think so, there. too. He was just talking right about having <laughs> lots of time and, <laughs> you, you know. Very sociable. Early and, early. But part of that is uh, that person then also markets it and keeps the people coming, uh, you know, with the way we used to do it with, hey, just show up. If you don't cause any problems, the city won't get in your way. Sometimes there's value when you pay five dollars for a spot every week versus hey i can just go there if i don't go there there's no one kind of right. paying attention you know mm -hmm. okay any other discussion um yes mr mayor i would just like to say that i really hope this works out um i think it would be i think that location and that parking lot there is just the perfect location for something like this um, i was very pleased to see the saturday morning uh, as you know, New Baltimore, um, you have the Armada flea market on Sundays. That way, we're not so much competing with the you know the neighbor the neighboring communities. I think this would be very good for Richmond. It would bring a lot of different people in. So that's all. Certainly hope so. Anything else? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion passes. Same. Not necessarily a farmer, someone that makes uh, jams or whole goods or, or, or whatever. Uh, another suggestion would be that Sue's uh, sewed again. If they'd like to get involved in something like that, uh, quilts and items like that. So if you think of anything, let us know so we can follow up on it. City Manager's comment, sir. Uh, just next week, uh, we'll have a budget packet that goes out on Tuesday for the following Monday, um, and then your normal uh, council packet will go out on Thursday. Moving on, council comments. Rob? Nope. John? Nope. Emily? No, thank you. Jimmy? 
Nothing, sir. Oh, Michael? I'm good. Good. Let's go to the calendar. Today being the <coughs> second day of uh, April, we have uh, the uh, first week of yard waste will be starting uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, again, uh, Richmond School is on spring break right now, so be careful. The kids are out and around. The library board will be meeting a week from tonight on the 9th at the library at 7 o'clock. The cable commission will be meeting on the 10th of April at 7 o'clock here at City Hall. And is there a BZA? There is not a BZA. There is a planning commission meeting on the 12th at 7 o'clock right here at City Hall and two weeks from this evening on the 16th will be the next regular City Council meeting. Um, hats off to the Parks and Recreation uh, Department for putting on the Easter egg scramble. That uh, went very well in a very cold day, <laughs> but it was not snowing and it wasn't raining, so that was a good day. Uh, anyhow, is there any other business of the City Council to be had this evening? Being not? Motion to adjourn be in order. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion's been made and supported. There's no discussion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Thanks for being with us.